Hey, what's up you guys? If you're looking to tow a vehicle behind your RV, you're gonna to need to install an RV tow harness on your vehicle. It is required by the law. This will convert your lights from your RV to your towed vehicle as you're heading to your next trip. Now, we're gonna break that down on a Fiat 500. Let's go ahead and do it. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So to make our installation easy, instead of using diodes and having to cut our wiring on our tail lights, Kurt has a vehicle specific RV tow harness that just plugs into our tail lights with diodes built in so that our electrical current from our RV will only go into our tail light. So to plug these in, we're gonna to need to gain access to our tail light harnesses. So we're gonna start by removing both of our tail lights. To remove our tail lights, we're gonna start on the driver's side and we're gonna remove these two screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Now that we have those screws out, there's a couple clips on the side right here. To help get those out, we're gonna use a trim panel removal tool. We're just gonna slide it behind the tail light towards those tabs, and that will help us release our tail light. And then we're gonna remove our harness and set our tail light aside. And then we're gonna repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna take our T connector with the yellow and brown wire, and we're going to connect it to our driver's side tail light. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the terminal, and we're gonna ground it right here behind our tail light on the driver's side, and we're gonna use the provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green and the brown wire, and we're gonna route it to our passenger side tail light harness. We're gonna go down through the bumper and over our bumper support to avoid the exhaust or anything hot. Now that we have our T connector down on the passenger side, if it's possible, you can take it, just push it up the bumper, reach down and grab it. But if it's a little too tight for you, like it is for me, we're gonna use a pull wire technique. We're gonna take this wire and we're gonna stick it down the bumper just till it comes down out the bottom right here. And then we're gonna take some electrical tape and we're gonna tape our T harness to our fish wire. and then we're gonna guide it up. And now that we have it up, we're just gonna remove the tape, and now we're gonna plug it into our passenger side tail light harness. Now with both of our harnesses plugged in, we're gonna take our four flat harness, and we're gonna route this to the front of the vehicle so we're gonna start by pushing this down underneath the bumper. We're gonna cut off the zip ties first. And then we're gonna take our four flat and we're just gonna push it down underneath our bumper. Now that we're done with our tail light harnesses, we'll go ahead and plug our tail lights back into place. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have our four flat underneath our vehicle coming out right here, we're going to route it over our rear driver's side wheel well. Now we're gonna to need to loosen it up to get it over there. So we're gonna take out three screws on the end and we're gonna use a Phillips bit or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. So to bring our four flat over our wheel well, we're going to use a pull wire technique. We're gonna take this wire and we're gonna push it up on the front end of the wheel well till it goes over and then we'll be able to pull it out from right here.
Now that we have our pull wire through our wheel well, we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna tape it on the end. Now that we have it taped on, we're just gonna lightly guide it through. Now that we have our four flat over our wheel well, we're gonna put our wheel well back together. Now underneath the vehicle, we're gonna route our four flat to the engine compartment. We're gonna follow our brake lines, which are underneath this panel. So we're gonna take our wire, and we're gonna bring it over this bracket. Now our brake lines are underneath this panel. So as we bring it, we're gonna take our wire and tuck it up underneath. Now we're gonna need to bring our four flat harness up here by our base plate. So we're gonna remove a couple screws in this underbody panel. And we're gonna remove these using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna take our four flat wiring and we're going to run it underneath this panel. And then we'll put our screws back in. Now to help our wire stay flush, we're gonna use a zip tie and we're gonna go through these two holes. And we'll secure it into place. Now we're gonna bring it underneath our frame and underneath our base plate towards the attachment points on our base plate. Now we're gonna pull our four flat through our attachment points. And we're just gonna bring it underneath. And we're just gonna rest it right there for now. Now that we have our wiring towards the front of our vehicle, we wanna make sure that our connectors match the extension from our RV to our vehicle. Our customer has this blue aux extension, which goes from a seven-way connector on the RV to a six-pin connector that we need on our vehicle. So we went ahead and got a six-pin connector, and this is not included with our kit, but you can pick one up at your closest U-Haul store, and we're gonna convert this four-flat to this six-pin. So first, we're gonna put our six-pin wiring into place. We're gonna trim our fascia right here so our wiring can sit through it. So we're just gonna use our wire cutters. Now we're gonna take care of six pin connector and we're gonna push the wiring till it comes out over here. So now we're going to connect our wires from our four flat connector to the wires on our six pin just by matching their colors. Now in our six pin, there's two wires we won't be using. We won't be using the black or the blue. So we're just gonna cut those short. Now we're gonna cut the connector off of our four flat. Now we're gonna connect each of our wires using a heat shrink butt connector. and then we'll use a butane torch to do the heat shrink. And now that we have those connected, we're gonna go ahead and tape it up to help it look a little bit more professional. Now we're gonna mount our harness to our base plate connectors right here. We're gonna use the hardware that came with our base plate.
And we went ahead and cleaned up our cables by pushing it into the bumper. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.